just as Jesus died and rose again, so too Jesus God will bring again with him those who are fallen asleep. And as in Adam upon that, so also in Christ will be, we all be brought to life and in Let us go. Listen kindly to our prayers to Lord. As our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is given, may our hope of resurrection for your departed servant Paul Alexander also find new strength. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and lives between the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The virtuous man, though he die before his time, will find rest. Length of days is not what makes age honorable, nor number of years the true measure of life. Understanding, this is man's great years. Untarnished life, this is ripe old age. He has sought to please God. So God has loved him. As he was living among sinners, he has been taken up. He has been carried off so that evil may not wax his understanding or treachery seduce his soul. For the fascination of evil throws good things into the shame, and the whirling of desire corrupts the simple heart. Coming to perfection in so short a while, he achieved long life, his soul being pleased to the Lord. He has taken him quickly from the wickedness around him, yet people look on uncomprehending. It does not enter their heads that grace and mercy awaits the chosen of the Lord and protection is holy ones. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall stay with the Lord forever. With such thoughts as these, we should comfort one another. This is the word of the Lord. And you know what is something perishable and imperishable. 
And the intuition of each and every person of St. Paul is the, the soul. We have no power over that, we have no control over that. That is not up to us to decide what to do. But we, we will believe in our body, in ourselves, when we live in this world. Yes, the decision that we make when living, it has a lot to do with, as the normal decision, there's a cause and relationship between what we do in the body and what happens to the soul at the final decision. So that is why it is absolutely important as separate world we give separate reminders of what is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So what do we do in the physical body? Yes, it has a rapport, a relationship with what happened in the soul. That is why you know the church is about what it is. It's more about you know a culture to cultivate the soul, to cultivate the entire being, not only the soul, the entire being. Because if you are aware of the body as a temple of the Holy Spirit. That is why Paul, in fact, when he was baptized in the church, I mean, I was trying to get some information on your father to know who he is. And I see some pictures indicating of he was using a cookie, something like that. Right? But the only person who could provide the information to me is Mr. Gaspar. He said, that was my good friend. And in fact, I was expecting to see him. But maybe we have a difficult in terms of transportation, we can make it. Most likely it will be maybe at the cemetery or something like that, waiting to see his brother for the last, the very last image of his brother. Yes, hence, what is it? Because of the fact that we return both the body and the soul that is one and the image with the human person one. But that is why when the person dies, we respect it and then we venerate, respect the body of the human person because that is the secret. That the God gave to, to our brother Paul, the body in which he was living when, when he was alive. But it doesn't mean that you know, because of the fact that it's the human person with the body and the soul. That is why I ask you to come. So when you explain to me that it's not okay, I said, I say, I'm not going to be any longer living here, just a shopping shop and go to the bed. I'm proud and I'm going to be there. Now the reality is my head. The human person, because of the dignity of the human person. The church will be there, and life is something sacred. As a result of that, the church understands the person as something sacred. And then, before we bury the person, we do all what to do for following the funeral right, as we have it there. And then, it is not a dashing. You know what that is, right? It is not a pumpkin. It is not a tanya. It is not anything that you're going to, as I say in French, are free that is what you're going to bury. You're going to actually the soul. That is why we ask you to bring the sacred body into a sacred space to do to follow a sacred rite in order to do a sacred burial. Because we in the, in the heart of, in, of the Easter system, the Easter system, what we say we do in the Easter system is the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is what Christianity is all about. If Christianity was not about that, it would it wouldn't make any sense for you to tell you to come here. Because the, I mean, the idea is, if we, after death, that would, be, would have been the end of the universe, it wouldn't be any sense of the to come all the way from England to do the service of death, come all the way It's because we have the hope that one day we shall see him again. Not in this world. No. But when, what, how we wish we shall see him again? Hence, the importance of the impression of nature, the soul of the universe, even if we die from the physical perspective. But the soul continues to change. Hence the reason why in the Catholic Church, you already said that you know, I mean, may the soul and the soul of all the faith in the party through the mercy of God that rest in peace. The Jubilee you know, have a lot of souls that are not in peace, that are rest in peace. You know, some children, I mean, they, I mean, they, they, they born, raised Catholic and so But at some point they leave the church, they went on a denomination. Because sometimes people make it a fifth search of experience. You understand? That is just because they, they move from one place to the next, church to the next. That doesn't mean that you are not making good vision for that. But there is a fifth journey. There is something that is new that you cannot find a place, you know, to, to satisfy that instill that you have. Now, I mean, the next church, and what is it? When it's time for the, I mean, the, one of the parents died, and then, what do you do? They say, we're not going to do anything. We're not going to bury the person. Just like the action, we're going to do the animation. Huh. I 
I mean, Pedro is a major, he is said that, you know, even if you, you are a high education person, that's okay. But at the same time, he is said that, you know, common sense is before book. Common sense is before book. If you know what you want to do, you will never take the chance to be just something like that. So, and then when they decide to be preparing, they prepare just like that, as they go to that shape. Okay, not too long after. They started to have, they started to be in Korean, they started to be too much in, too much in, too much in. And the whole house, they had to call Chris on and pray and this and that. And then, that is why, you don't get a chance to this. Life is sacred, and even a person, too. I mean, sacred, as a result of that. We 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 the Maccabean text says that you know, some people they took up a collection to send to Jerusalem to pray for these fallen soldiers who have died in the war in the country like this. So if that didn't make sense, if the person was not sick, the church would lie about Satan. You read the second reading, the second reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul in the Israel. You know what St. Paul is writing to the people in Israel that there is a city in Greece. What he was saying. Sometimes, because we are, I mean, Christianity just starts to, to spread in the Greek Roman world. But some people, they say, you know what? Sometimes, eh? what do you do? If Jesus Christ is going to come back very soon, it doesn't make sense for us to go and walk. Go and walk every day. They say, no, we're not going to walk. We will sit. Because in the early church, everybody, everybody bring what you have. And you have everything you share, everything in common. Nobody was in here. So some people want to take advantage of that system. They say, we are not going to work, we are going to be lazy, and we will know very well or who is secure as long as we come to the church to say we will gather as one of the And it's important to write and say, no, he explained to him the whole process of life and death and the mystery of the resurrection, those who have died in Christ, or the whole process of the resurrection rising again from the dead, or even happening. That is what the second reading is all about. And then the first reading from John. Then there is no anybody who believes in my father's way. So, I shall lose nothing. Everything shall be to me. God is the beginning, is the primary cause of human existence, is the source of human life, God sustains human existence, and as a result of that, everything will go back to the people. That is why Paul is making the church back to his life. So, a member of the church, that is why, a member of the body of Christ, as a result of that, Within him, we respect him and we know just what we did when he was baptized. I was not, I mean, he was in 96, right? And we all know that there is it. When he was born, he was baptized. The priest who baptized him did what we do at the entrance of the church. Holy water, bless him, and baptize him, making him a member of the body of Christ, the church. Now, today, as he goes back to his name, I mean, the servants in the church. But we bring him there again to do what we did. He is home now. And then when we ask, and then the man goes back there. So there's a man of this song. So before we do this song, we do what we do. And here's the importance of doing what we do. So it's not because one goes there and one goes back there. But we do, you know, we say something. Because it's a member of the church where you go. By virtue of the baptism, you have a growth. The baptism has a ticket. You say that this person is a Catholic. You can go to Mutu and Mali. You can go. I mean, in the Niger, where they go, but by virtue of your baptism, you are a member of the church. So, you can go where you want, but, I mean, you are a body of Christ. You know what they said, the church is a man. It's a banana tree. The branch. Sorry, banana tree. So, you see the branch in the young, they spread. And then, when they die, what happened? They come back. One day. That's what it is. It is what it is. We cannot change. That's what it's set up. As the only boys in the island, they say that's what it's set up. That's what it is. So, the school of the church, or the virtuous thing he has about. So, the
the soul of Owen is in the other We can pray for a good soul, for a thing to go well. We can give a good letter for Francis and say, this man, he did not get to go. He came into the world, he may get back. Children, co work of one, co creator of one. No, he going back to his head. And then, we can trust in the hands of the Papa God of mercy, the soul of this man. You know, he said that in the words of virtue, virtuous, be virtuous. Virtue comes as a result of practice. So you to be a virtuous person, you must have been practicing it. It doesn't come just like that. Just the same way two eyes come as a result of practice. You know, you have virtuous, that is just you understand? So the two of them, they both exist in the human person. In fact, life is the balance of all perfection. Both the virtue and the eyes. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for hope. For and now we come to the last prayer. There is sadness and heart, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Paul in him and enjoy friendship. Although this congregation is discussed, the mercy of God will guide us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Oh, God.
May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And may the blessing of the mighty God, the Father and His Son, and the Holy Spirit come on you and the living God. Amen. Hope in His
this was the funeral service of Paul Alexander. Please bury first as we transition to the burial sites. Thank you for joining. Once again, this was the funeral service of Paul Alexander. Please bring this as a transition to the burial site.